Who's this kitty? Who's this kitty? Who's this kitty? Videos. This is a Pacific rockfish seducer fly. That's S E A D U C E R fly. Again, hydro thread base white to ten denier. Uh, we've got we're going to use uh, seducer is an awesome fly. It's got great history and it's kind of sad when people turn away from our history, our roots. You know, I didn't know much about a seducer fly until I started researching saltwater flies and then I discovered this really cool fly tied with all feathers that uh, has been fished for decades, long time on the East Coast. People fish it for stripers. People fish it for smallmouth, largemouth. This fly has been used, uh, I'm sure it has either been used as is or inspired a lot of tarpon flies. I'm going to add some lateral flash to this fly. Really jazz it up. Anyway, it's just, it's got feather tails and it had a feather body and that was it. And then they added the bead chain eyes. The whistler eyes. Now my lateral flash is all on a ball here, so I'll try to get some on both sides of the fly. There we go. So anyway, what I decided to do was tie this fly, and initially I did tie it. Totally traditional. Black hackles for the tail, no flash, and then just white for the body. I tied it with bee chain because I'm fishing rockfish and I like to get my help get my fly. The, the sink tip does most of the work but the bee chain helps a little bit. Well then I noticed, gosh as I was tying in, by the way black and white's a great color combination for all sorts of bait fish and um, so I figured that it would be good for rockfish to tie the black and white seducer and it is and they eat it like crazy. Not always. There are times when they wanted smaller flies or bigger flies or crab larva or uh, euphousid shrimp type of critters. But there are times when they'd eat this black and white seducer really nicely. But I was noticing, gosh, I've got to use three saddle hackles, four saddle hackles. And it takes time to pick them out, to select them, to prepare them. You want a saddle hackle that's got nice web to it, nice full body. Uh, and I got thinking, okay, what else could I do? And guess what? My foray into the saltwater world I have discovered. And it's funny because I could have used these for steelhead flies. Uh, EP, anatomist brushes. This is a white EP anatomist brush and it makes a perfect body or hackling for a seducer. It makes a great uh, bait fish belly as well. Um, so the, the uses are limited principally by your imagination. You could trim this shorter. I'm going to use a medium plated lead eye. This is going to get my fly. It's going to give it a little bit more action when I fish it. I'll strip and pause and strip and pause with this fly. And the rockfish are usually on it when you pause. And then when you strip, hammer, wham, the rod goes down. A little bit of hydro to finish it up. Anyway, the seducer is a great fly. It's worked for years back east. It's time we start discovering it, rediscovering it here, as I have. I've got 
a seducer for pink salmon and a seducer for chum salmon and a seducer for Chinook salmon. And this one for rockfish is just awesome. It's fun to tie, not too complicated, and it really fishes well. It casts well too. Have fun with it. We doing okay where we're at, Kevin? Yeah. Okay. We got this under Yeah. There's the fish. Yep. Had one. Another one. There we there he is. <laughs> 